Today we're going to look at exponential equations. The learning goals for this lesson or the learning goal is that we're going to be able to solve simple exponential equations. So an exponential equation is of the form a to the power of x equals b, a has to be greater than 0, b has to be greater than 0 and a doesn't equal 1. So if we review the types of equations that we've seen before. We've seen linear equations that are in the form y equals mx plus c. This is a linear form. We've seen quadratics. Quadratics are in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. It's a quadratic. So we're having a look at a different kind of um, equation now that's got uh, the variable x as a power. So the difference between um, the, an exponential equation and a quadratic is the powers are fixed values. So the powers here that we've got, it's a power of 2, power of 1 there, and x to the power of 0 here, which is just 1. So that's why that wants to c by itself. So a quadratic has fixed um, powers, but an exponential equation, you can see here, it has where to the power x, so that is the variable, the thing that is changing. So as x increases, it's essentially saying we're increasing the power and changing and seeing how the equation looks by increasing the power. If we were to graph an exponential equation, they uh, constantly increase by a certain rate or constantly decrease. So they've either got a constant growth, like this, or they've got a constant um, decay, like, like this. So essentially, um, the reason why A needs to be greater than zero and B needs to be greater than zero, um, we need to make sure that the value is um, going to be a, um, in, in a positive uh, sector in the positive um, quadrant of the equation, we can actually, this is the most basic form of an exponential equation, we can actually modify it to see what happens when we do change it and make a negative um, uh, and see how we can kind of influence that and shift it up and down and things like that and that's um, for, for later on. The reason why we can't have a equal to 1 is because if a equals uh, 1, then we are constantly having 1 to the power of x. Um, and anything, um, if I have 1 to any power, it's just going to equal 1. So we, um, if we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, or 1 over 1, it's always going to be equal to 1. Um, so that's why um, we need to make sure that a is not equal to 1. So if we have a look at um, how to solve an exponential equation, um, expressing both sides of the equation using index notation to the same base, that's what we do to um, firstly try and solve the equation. So it means that we need to, um, if we have the same base, then we can compare the exponents. So for example, if I had uh, 2 to the power of x, uh, equals 4, then I can express these to the same base. So I can have 2 to the power of x equals 2 squared, because 4 is 2 squared. I've expressed them as the same base. Now, the next step is to equate the exponents. So I get x is equal to 2 in this case. And then if I've got anything more complicated that I can solve, I can then solve that equation. Uh, so it's very simple. If we follow these pro this process and follow these steps, we'll be able to solve exponential equations. So let's have a look at some examples and solving uh, for x in the following examples. So the first example we've got here, a is 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. So we need to express both, of, both sides of the equation with the same base. So I can say, well, um, 16 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's the same as 2 to the power of 4. 16 is the same as 2 to the power of 4 because it's 4 times 4 and each of those 4s is 2 times 2. So we end up having 4 2s. Multiplying them together we get 16. So this means that we can then equate the bases and we get x equals, uh, sorry, equate the exponents and we get x is equal to 4. For b, 
we've got 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 over 9. Now we need to remember that if I've got um, an inverse value then that's going to be to a negative power. So um, if I have a look here, the 1 over 9, that can be expressed as 1 over 3 squared. So we currently don't have them, we can't equate the um, exponents just yet, but this is the same, 3 to the power of x is the same as 3 to the power of negative 2, because if I um, uh, find the reciprocal of 3 to the power of 2, then we can make it a negative power. So we get that the answer is, and now we can equate, equate the exponents as a final step, x is equal to negative 2. For c, we've got 25 to the power of x is equal to 125. So it's not immediately obvious what we can do to um, find 125 to the same base. Um, we can't we can't uh, do 25. 25 squared is 625, so we can't get 25 to the base, um, 125 with a base of 25. But what we can do is multiply both sides, so we can simplify to the the kind of the most the lowest common base that we can find. So we can see that they must both have a common base of five because 25 uh, five squared is 25 and 5 cubed is 125. So we can say, well, 25 to the power of x is the same as 5 squared to the power of x, and 125 is the same as 5 to the power of 3. We can use index law uh, 3 to find that this is the same as 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 5 to the power of 3. And so we get um, that we, we've got the same base now, same base, base of 5, and we can now equate the exponents. So we can say, therefore, 2x is equal to 3, and then if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 3 over 2. So I've solved um, the equation uh, and found that x is equal to 3 over 2, and we can input that into our calculator, um, substitute the 3 over 2 um, um, for x back into the original equation. So we could say um, if we wanted to check our answer very quickly, um, it was an exam, we wanted to make sure that we were correct, we could substitute in 25 to the power of 3 over 2. 3 over 2, not 3 over 3. And then we would see that that would, um, the calculator would give us 125 as the solution there. So for our final 1D, Probably the most complicated um, example of this that we would have to do um, at this stage is we've got 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to 27x. Now we need to make sure we get the same base. We can't reduce the 3 um, to any lower base, so it must stay the same. So we get, um, we can, however, get that 27 is the same as 3 cubed, so 3 times 3 times 3. So it is 3 cubed, all to the power of x. So that means that 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 is going to be equal to 3 to the power of 3x, because we can expand that out using um, index law 3. And then we can say, well, therefore, if we equate the exponents, 2x minus 1 is equal to 3x. And now we just need to solve for uh, x. So if we... Uh, subtract 2x from both sides, we get negative 1 is equal to x, so therefore x is equal to negative 1. And once again we can um, substitute this back into our calculator and see if we get the, um, get the same answer by substituting our value of x equals negative 1 back into the original uh, equation that we were given. So just to recap on our learning goals for today, today we've looked at being able to solve simple exponential equations.